Hi, I'm Ima, and right behind me is a store called Tractor Supply Co. If you're like my mom, you might think that they sell tractors. And though that's kind of true, they sell more than that. They sell all kinds of things from animals to agricultural things. Alright, so I'm going to be honest here. I've actually never been to Tractor Supply Co before. Neither has Azami, Anissa, or I think my mom. So this is going to be our first time actually going into the store, and we're going to just take a look. And it's probably going to be your first time, you guys' first time looking at the store, especially if you don't have a Tractor Supply Co in your area. And the reason that we're here is because recently we got chickens, and this, in our time of COVID, uh, let me actually get my mask out. In this time of COVID, this is our source of getting supplies for taking care of our chickens. And today, we're here to get some supplies for uh, Anissa's cats. Uh, if you look behind me, it looks pretty much like a Walmart. Um, but more like a smaller Walmart, I guess. Pretty much any big box store that you'll find around. It kind of looks like that. And I think it even has some of the brands that you might see from Walmart. This place is also laid out like a, a Walmart, or rather a Home Depot or a Lowe's. Because if you look around, you can actually see the different sections that they have. Like outdoors, tools, hardware. That's like, you know, Lowe's and Home Depot, you'd expect them. But also they have farm parts, pet food, and feed. And that's actually where we're going to go right now. Hopefully you guys can hear me through my mask, right? Alright, so here we are in the uh, pet supplies section. And here my, my sister Anissa is getting some supplies for her cat. Her, well, her new cat. So right now it looks like they're picking out food. I'm getting the litter box, uh, treats to train the cat, toys so that they exercise, food specifically for kittens. Oh, and the yes. bed, we need a bed, an actual kitty litter, maybe a scratch plate. There's a lot that you need for cats. Alright, so here we are at the chicken section. And as you can see, there is a ton of chickens. Uh, but actually, my dad was saying to me that last time he visited, there were way more chickens. And maybe we have some photos of that. But the point is, there is a lot of demand for chickens during these times. So, it's, and like I said before in one of my videos, when, when you want to get chickens, you might, you might go to a store and most of the time you won't see the chickens at the store uh, because, you know, it's supply and demand. So most of the time you have to call in to see if you have the chickens that you want to get. And over here, they have all the information for uh, buying the chickens. Alright, so over here they have the prices for ordering the chickens and as you can see, they're a wide variety of chickens for different prices, like pullets for $3.59, but Cornish rocks are for $2.59. And sometimes they won't, like I said, they won't have the breed that you want, so you're gonna have to look online for the breed that you want. And they won't have the same prices as they do in the store. So, you know, you have to weigh the options. They also, they also have ducks. I thought that was really cool, they have ducks. Alright, so let's go check back on Anissa. Okay, Zombie's over there, handling the cart. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Alright, so here we are at the supply section, and they have supplies for many different animals. It's not just chickens, even though I should point out they do have supplies for chickens. And as you can see, the current supplies that they have, they're out of some feeders. And right now it's a Tuesday, so it makes sense that they're out of most stuff. But as, but as you can see, there's quite a demand for chicken supplies. But beyond that, there's also things for things like horses, they have goat chows, uh, they have buckets. Of course they have uh, the uh, uh, oh, Fresh Fix Thieves Pine Shavings for chickens. Uh, we, I think we already have some, and we have them in our in our uh, tiny little uh, chicken brooder. But they more things for birds. I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere 
something for rabbits. All right, so we're in a different aisle now, and uh, while, I, while I was walking here, I also saw something for cows. So they also do have supplies for cows. But over here we have the rabbit section. As you can see, the oh wow, that's a pretty huge cage. I think uh, that cage is bigger than Romeo's. Hmm. Maybe you'll have to invest in something for Romeo. Uh, it looks like there's something for dogs. Oh, guinea pigs, rabbits. Let me know anything you want to comment on. This is the rabbit section. Nice. And they also have supplements for uh, dogs. Uh, over here, uh, I mentioned earlier, they have the cow supplies, and it's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that they reused uh, cows in my area. Uh, I definitely haven't seen a cow in my area, and it's really cool to see. It, it, it does look like some people have been taking the bags from here, so it does look like there are some cows in our area. And they do have a ton of different supplies for cows. Uh, it looks like these are special syringes for uh, supplements? Let's see. It looks like it's a supplement as a supplement. They also have antibacterials. I've never seen this kind of thing. Especially for, for cows, especially in New England. This is, this is uh, very strange to me. But it's very cool that they have such a variety of different supplies for different animals in this store. I wonder like, what's the supply chain like? What do we have here? Looks like Looks like they have supplies to to raise deer. I didn't know that people actually raised deer. That's that's pretty amazing. Like, cause usually we think of, at least we think of deers as wild animals that come to my mom's garden and wreak havoc upon the plants. But it looks like people actually do raise deer, and that's pretty cool. They have feed over here. They have they have like actual deer blends. So they they're catering to deer, and they have they have these weird bricks. I'm not sure. They're they're for feeding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Would you really want this in your mouth? Like, I don't think anyone could take that. Maybe someone with an iron stomach, but... Oh. Definitely, it's definitely gonna leave you with a heavier tummy. They have... Deer cane liquid. A ben beneficial mineral extractant. Huh. I just, I didn't know there was a market out there for raising deer. How can you have a pet supply store without having a section for birds? So here we are at the birdhouse section, or rather the bird section, and we're looking at some birdhouses because the plan is sort of for us to put some birdhouses next to Bella's castle. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should also check out that video. But basically, we want to basically make her a Disney princess because, you know, Bella has white fur and snow white and birds. So unfortunately, it looks like these are very expensive. So we're, we're thinking that instead of buying one, we're probably going to build one ourselves. And it probably is going to make for a good video too. Alright, so over here we have um, a chicken coop. That's pretty cool, right? Oh, it looks like it has, has many different details, but what we're interested in here is this drawer right here. Part of it, it has this drawer here for picking up the litter. Sort of like, um, I think the best way I can compare it is to how we clean up Romeo's, Romeo's poop. Basically, we, we slide the tray out and we get rid of the poop. But I think, it, it, although it looks really cool, and Azami offered to actually buy it. This cost $300, by the way. Azami offered to buy it. I think what we're going to end up doing is we're actually going to build this ourselves in the playground. Because it looks like the playground has similar dimensions. And also, from prior experience, my dad has always been good at building things based off of blueprints. He actually built the playground off of blueprints. He didn't build it with the instructions. He just took the instructions and built the playground himself. So he could probably do that with this coop right here. Huh. So this store definitely has some sort of dog bias because I'm pretty sure it's dedicated at least three shelves entirely to dogs. And that might be due to the fact that dogs are the most popular pet. But I gotta say, it's, it's just overwhelming seeing the amount of dog support here. Uh, we actually can't own dogs due to a personal reason, but it wouldn't be nice to have a bit more cat support. But it's good to see that people are still making sure that dogs get the love that they need. Right? Making sure. Alright, so if you've ever been to Lowe's or Home Depot, you'll know that they have, they usually have an outdoor area. 
And as you can see here, they have like tractors, fencing. It looks like they have lumber over there. Uh, but because that's not really re relevant to what we want to do right now, we're going to go back inside. Okay. Alright, so Anissa already paid for her stuff. And because we don't want to waste her time, we're going to end, of, we're going to end this video off here. Uh, we didn't get to cover the other side of the store, uh, which included the hardware and the outdoor supplies. But if there's enough interest in the uh, TSC uh, or Tractor Supply Co, we'll probably do another video detailing what goes on the other side of the store. But for now, this video is really meant to be sort of a vlog, but also to connect to my other videos that we're doing on the new chicks that we just got. So if you haven't checked out that series yet, just go check it out and I'll see you there. Uh, we have 10 chicks right now and hopefully the supplies that we get from the store are going to help out tremendously to raise them. But for now, I'm Ayman. I'm Hizami. That's my mom. <laughs> and uh, and this is in the car right now. And that's Tractor Supply Co. And signing out. Peace. Peace.